Good morning. It is bright and early. I'm getting ready for Sephora, so I thought I would jump on and kind of film like my makeup for the event. I'm really excited to go. This is my first year going, and I'm also gonna be working the event, so I'm really excited. So I thought I would just like, I don't know, set up the camera. I'm gonna be vlogging it. So I thought I would just do my makeup and show you guys what I'm doing. I haven't been on camera in like literally eight months, I feel like it's been. It's just work has been crazy, life has been crazy. We're planning a wedding, which has kind of been a little nuts, especially now because we're like finalizing a lot of things. But I will take you guys along in the process. I took a poll on my Instagram on like what you guys want to see and had you guys like send in your requests and a lot of it was like wedding planning stuff along with hauls and favorites videos and reviews. So for those of you who don't know, I do work at Sephora um, if you're new to my channel or you've seen previous videos, but um, I do work at Sephora. I am on the merchandising team for hair and um, we are here this weekend again just to help out with the event, make sure everything's going well, make sure all of our masterclass attendees and brand founders are like taken care of and that the lines are going well. So I'm really excited just to see how everything comes to life because I saw everything on social media last year and it looked like so much fun. I'm going to start with priming my face. I'm actually going to start with my super goop unseen sunscreen this is a must for me i recently started trying this a couple months ago when the founder of supergroup came into the office and she was talking about just sunscreen in general and like her mission as a brand and what she was really kind of going after when she was starting the brand if there are any videos that you guys want to see because i'm back <laughs> taking me so long to come back let me know and i will try to get them done i was mentioning on my instagram that like the videos are not going to be the same as my previous stuff. The way that I watch videos and like what interests me now is a little different, if that makes sense. I feel like it's just a lot more very relatable content rather than just be pumping out so many like beauty related things. Not that I don't love beauty. I just want you guys to enjoy the content and have it be a safe space and like something that you look forward to watching. I mean like think about it. Everyone has 24 hours in the day and the fact that you are taking eight to 10 minutes or even 12 minutes of your day to watch a video of mine like means the world to me. So I want it to be inspiring um, and that you can like learn something or get something out of it rather than it just being like, I don't know, so bland, if that makes sense. I wanna know what's like been new with you guys just because I've been gone. One of the reasons why I loved YouTube and just like the community that we built was being able to like chat with you guys. For eyeshadow, Anastasia Soft Glam Palette, love this thing Let's see i'm gonna start with orange soda and just see where this look takes me i did do and redid my entire makeup organization and closet so i'm gonna have to show you guys that because when i film at home it's not gonna be the same background as you guys are used to i want to know like has your guys this perception and like view on the makeup and like beauty industry changed at all because i feel like there's been a shift as of recently and it's a fascinating shift, but maybe it's just like my perception. I'm just curious like what you guys are still into, what gets you excited about new launches and new brands. Cause I feel like for me, I used to be all over every single new launch, like whether that be across the board, like makeup, skincare, hair care, fragrance, everything. Now I feel like it's just been so saturated that I'm like, I don't have enough bandwidth to even give my attention to something that is just launching one after the other. So I don't know if I've just changed or if it's because I'm like constantly surrounded by it now where I'm just kind of like immune to it. I don't know. I want to know your guys' thoughts. So last night we had a really good dinner at this place called Little Sister right next door to our hotel, which was really convenient and it was so good. It was like a fusion of kind of like Vietnamese, Asian, but like fancy. Not fancy, but more modern and it was really good and then we went to this really cool like bar afterwards it looked, looked like a library if you guys are from downtown la you probably know what i'm talking about i've really been wanting to get the naked reloaded palette if you guys have that and they're coming out with a new one called honey if you guys have seen the sneak peeks it's out so i can say it but oh my god it's so beautiful i cannot wait it's like all of these bronzy warm mustard looking colors with browns and yellows oh my god it's so pretty Okay, while my lashes are drying, I'm gonna move on to the face. I'm using my Tatcha the Silk Canvas for my primer. And I literally just like rub in here and then rub it on my face. This stuff is so good. If you guys have any texture problem areas, pores you wanna minimize, this is so good at like blurring everything. I'm gonna prime 
my face also with this. I love this. Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. It smells so good. And for foundation mixing, I've been loving this. If you guys remember, again, I am like so oily, always needed a super full coverage, didn't want anything dewy really unless it was like from underneath and I could not leave the house unless I was like matte. I love this. This is, if I need to wear makeup to work, this is like what I've been reaching for. It's so beautiful. And then I've been mixing it because this lasts so long on my skin. I need my makeup to last until like 10 o'clock at night tonight and it's still look really good. So I'm gonna use um, Too Faced Peach Perfect and then Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. So I'm gonna start with peach. I also have a fake tan on right now, so I need to really bronze up my face. Favorite foundation brush of all time, also a Sephora brush. This is the Pro Diffuser number 64. It's like a nice round top, but it's like also kind of feels like a dual fiber, but it's not, but it's also firm. So you really get a good full coverage with it. It's amazing, everyone needs it. Of course my freaking battery dies. I just finished my foundation, put my concealer on, and now I'm putting my Fenty powder on. Use the color butter and i'm just gonna set all of my super super oily areas with this and then again charlotte tilbury best powder ever also love it so much it just looks so flawless i just like to press it into my skin i just bought her new foundation that's after the flawless fusion oh, i'm so excited i do a couple different things with my bronzer now so i use the hourglass radiant bronze light and I've been using a dual fiber brush. Like, who am I? I just like to chisel out my cheekbones. Not that this is really chiseling. It's more bringing warmth to my face. But I need to because my tan. <laughs> and then, I'm so extra. But I need, like, some life underneath my eyes. So I've been going in with the Hourglass Luminous Light um, Diffusing Powder. I love Hourglass. That's, like, my favorite high-end. One of my favorite high-end brands besides like charlotte and then i just take this and like run it underneath my eyes and then i put it in the high points of my face i don't know it makes me feel a little bit more lively persona cosmetics zuma you guys already know i'm gonna use this first like just wait it's hard to see the lighting in here is so so of course my camera shuts off when I'm like rushing to get ready. So I just wanted to sign off and I have like my entire outfit on. I'll show you guys if the lighting permits. It's like so dark in my hotel room, but I'm just wearing this really cute flowy skirt from Target, my Tory Burch sandals, just a black t-shirt. And then jewelry is Miranda Fry and uh, Forever 21. So curled my hair, put my extensions in and I'm late, I gotta go to breakfast, and I will see you guys all at Sephora, and I will be vlogging the entire thing. So, cannot wait to show you guys the footage. Thank you guys so much for watching this Get Ready With Me. Sorry it was like a hot ass mess, <laughs> but I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!